Hi Libra, here's a general look at your solar chart for March 2011 now. Saturn is in your sign. Saturn tends to slow things down, makes you take a more serious outlook on life and take your responsibilities more seriously to carve out uh, new foundations for, for yourself in the world, in relationships with the job, kind of across the board really. Um, this month, up until the 21st, is the Stitch in Time Saves Nine part of the annual sun cycle. Um, and the practical, physical aspects of life um, uh, here on Earth are going to be highlighted. So at times you're going to be more inclined to want to tackle that pile of uh, work in the corner, blow the dust off that. Um, Maybe you've been avoiding it, uh, seeing to chores, many tasks, uh, having to deal with lots of detail, uh, and um, um, reading the small print, maybe dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Uh, but, oh but, your ruler Venus is in a very playful uh, area of the chart, so at least you're going to have some laughs along the way, I think and uh, getting more chance uh, for breaks, more access to entertainment, uh, getting on perhaps not too badly with those providing a service for you, <clears throat> even when they don't turn out when they're supposed to. Um, and um, you're trying to get things uh, to run smoothly. Um, you're trying to get straight with things, uh, repairs, maintenance maybe, <clears throat> paying perhaps as well more attention, uh, or the focus really being, uh, and more correspondence perhaps, being to do with health, diet, um, up until the 10th that is, um, any health issues, your own or somebody else's. Um, because in the first three weeks, organizing all that basic stuff is going to uh, serve you well, pave the way for better conditions in the future. So let's not lose sight uh, of the fact that you're going to get more offers to party, uh, or at least have access. It's, it's going to be sort of there. Um, where, you know, so you can at least get breaks where you can relax, enjoy yourself. Um, also another way this can be interpreted is that you are uh, promoting something uh, or uh, presenting something or it could be yourself in a way which is uh, attractive, uh, interesting. Putting in the groundwork um, which underpins this. So it really is about all the nuts and bolts of things at the moment. And some of you could be going around with a hammer in your hand or a screwdriver. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it really is that sort of, ba all that basic stuff. Um, but as I say, it's potentially uh, got this sort of fun element with it and also potentially romantic for some of you as well. Uh, you could feel at the center of someone's attention, maybe you're teaming up and working together, maybe it's not romance, maybe it's just with friends. Um, and as I say, having, you know, time for a little bit of entertainment there. Uh, also, uh, for some of you, uh, children uh, and the affairs of children are going to be favorably highlighted at this time. From the tenth, the mental focus then will shift um, into the area of close one-to-one -one relationships. Uh, it'll be important for you to give and receive clear back feedback from, from others. Um, vital, actually, that you kind of put cards on the table, communicate clearly, um, say exactly, you know, what you mean. Um, uh, and uh, with partners, colleagues, co-workers, uh, uh, look for compromises where necessary as well. Um, over the 9th and 10th, there may be some surprise through uh, a co-worker, colleague, opposite number, partner, um, member of your inner circle, which triggers uh, an event, uh, some sort of new lines of thinking. Uh, could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Could be somebody that, you, that you've only just met, really. Um, Mars is keeping your nose to the grindstone in March, uh, Libra, whenever it can. Uh, but chances are you're going to enjoy being creative and innovative with that. There's going to, whatever the process that you, you're in, there will be moments when you can sort of step back and get the sense of satisfaction and fulfillment out of things. Um, it could translate as you're grabbing opportunities for some downtime as well in good company, occupied with something uh, personally uh, fulfilling, which is not 
stressful. Uh, however, you may have more energy for chores related to uh, or for chores or um, uh, or related to um, the employment market itself, or maybe it's the space that you work in. <clears throat> and uh, there may be some conflict with co-workers along the way or, or service providers. Sometimes you might be irritated there. Uh, but uh, on the flip side of that energy, there can be a very vigorous, uh, competent uh, response uh, from someone helping you with their skills, their advice. It may also be that health, uh, yours or somebody else's, is an issue at this time. Uh, once again, uh, I will say that you're likely to get this vigorous, uh, efficient response um, from uh, certain others. Either way, you should look after yourself more during this phase and not be reliant on others to uh, be looking after you. Um, because you're likely to overstretch your energies or to work too hard and put your back out or whatever it is. So just be careful about that just now. As I said earlier, Saturn is in your sign until 2012, so that sobers you up, um, makes you more cautious, uh, and um, <clears throat> helps you to realize that you have to lay foundations and new structures in your life so really, you're, you're building your life, rebuilding your life from the ground up at the moment. Uh, Saturn and Pluto is going to incline you to take on heavier responsibilities uh, to design things, to change things, to very much change a lot. And in fact, change will come at you as well. So that you've got to roll with that. You've got to understand, you've got to, as best you can, contour things in a way which mirrors more authentically where you're really coming from. Um, so uh, this is a period when you've got to put in the groundwork to allow things to uh, launch. You're making the launch pad, really, at the moment. And this is going to affect things across the board, particularly with Uranus um, and Jupiter in your opposite sign, um, meaning that um, you've, got to, you've got to find a way of building things forming things, shaping things in a way which marries what you know you, you like to do for yourself and maybe nearest and dearest, uh, the best uh, sort of um, a soil uh, in which to grow and flourish with uh, um, changes maybe in personal style, the role you play, relationships, uh, the job, place on the map. Uh, which mirrors this. Nothing is going to be instantaneous because Saturn rules time. And so therefore, wherever Saturn's sitting in the solar chart, it will take time to accomplish. Now, in your sign, and if you have Libra rising in your first house, this means that it's about um, your physical body, but also your personal approach, your personal interests. Um, putting the work in to create, to construct that new sort of paradigm there for yourself and your world. Uh, and being patient and perseverance really is the only way to go with this vibration. Um, patient and persevering, I should have said. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's worth it. Uh, down the line, the rewards can be huge if you keep the faith and hold the vision uh, which you wish to manifest. Now, many people can be very successful with this vibration in their sign, but it takes a bit of grit. From March the 10th, uh, Uranus is going to be uh, g transiting out of Pisces and into Aries. This is, this is quite an important astrological event. It's going to shift the whole energy in your solar chart. It's going to be in Aries, your opposite sign, for many years. Uh, during that time, partnerships, through partnerships and close relationships of, of many kinds, your, 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 your life will be thrown into change um, uh, and be transformed in a surprising way. So you've got to uh, just be flexible and open-minded with that and adaptable uh, because the dynamic between you and opposite numbers and the role that traditionally, historically you played is going to be changing and you're going to feel ambushed from time to time. Now, 
you early Librans uh, born in the first couple of days, or those of you with uh, the first couple of degrees of Libra rising, and I feel this one over March. So Jupiter uh, is also in that same area. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, giving you a broader, more philosophical uh, perspective in that area there, maybe you find yourself rubbing shoulders with people who have got, got very different backgrounds or cultures or languages to your own. Um, you get the sort of, the feeling as though you want to spread your wings um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, you should indeed cast your nets wide in that area of close personal relationships. Uh, also, Jupiter there tends to make others see you as an advisor, teacher, guider, um, gives you more opportunity to show that side of your personality anyway, and also gives you an opportunity for that right person to come into your life, as long as you do put yourself, Libra, into environments where you actually meet the sort of people that you would, you know, kind of would like to meet. So, that person is likely to be very different to what you imagined, um, and uh, could even be foreign so uh, just um, realize that uh, you, you are likely to get some of this, some, particularly you early Librans in March, um, a sudden reversal there, a sudden change there. And um, just don't expand too, too fast and furiously um, and kind of take on board too much. Uh, just keep your feet on the ground, Libra. Uh, now, if you work with the public or in one-to-one -one situations, things could suddenly take off for you there, particularly you early Librans. Um, and over the time that Jupiter's in that area, um, in fact, it's not just early Librans, it's you Librans who are born, um, particularly this month, that will be affecting you Librans who are born in the second, in the second week of the sign most, but the whole sign is going to be feeling that. So um, you could find your popularity growing uh, uh, as well at the moment. On the 20th to the 22nd, a potential partner could appear out of the blue, um, or maybe it's not a potential partner, maybe it is somebody you know um, who just springs a surprise on you, or maybe something unexpected, unpredictable happens to them. Anyway, um, it'll get you kind of uh, thinking along a, a new track. From the 21st, things could begin to look up in the relationship department, though. So, so um, that will be the end, then, of all of that uh, hard work, and you can throw away the to-do list for a little while, anyway. Um, okay, well, that's it for March. If you know your rising sign, listen to that, too. It'll throw another light on what I've said here, and I'll see you the next time.